last one, final one. Work-life balance. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong dude. Um, Do you think you've got a good work-life balance? I mean, define good. Like For me, I, I'm very happy with where I am, but I think to a lot of people, they would find it quite alarming, the amount of work. I mean, I, I know I logged like 240 hours on Toggle last month, and I worked out that... Like, Is that a week? So, well, I th so it's like you know, it was, what's you working? It was about sixty what time you a week. Start, what time do you finish? So I will, I will have sat down at my desk, ready to go, having already done yoga and be ready and stuff at six a.m. And I'll normally be working till, and I will normally have about forty-five minutes to an hour off before sleep, and sleep is about ten. So I will normally work six till nine. Now, of course, there'll be times where I'm eating during that time. Maybe I'll go to the gym. Um, you know, th th there will be time. Get you know, there will be the whatever. But basically, I work eleven at least eleven hours a day. And I, when I say work, I mean sat down, work to, on the timer. And I, but I love it. I think a lot of people would say that's really unhealthy. But I'll find myself going to my man cave because I want to finish I, a I task. I literally love it. So no, so I, yeah. That for me, over the last couple of years. I, whereas before, so I'm just going to speak for a sec because I just need to get this out because this is actually quite important to me. So weirdly, before I would like be off or on, I'd either be working or not and I'd have clear lines. And like on a Sunday, like, or in the evening, I'd be like, I'm off. And I, and I, and I couldn't get back into work and the lines were very distinct. Now the lines are completely blurred and I feel like it's very aligned. So like I can have a work conversation on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. now Whereas before I would like almost refuse to, because I used to see it as work and life. Now I do see them as as a blend. aligned, and it's way easier. It's way less effort. I'm working more, but I'm living more. It's starting the same thing. Like we're having this conversation now. You know, we'll, we'll go to Mallorca in a couple of weeks for the weekend. We'll spend the whole weekend working, but we're not working. We're having fun, and yeah. so you know, I don't know. Like we'll meet for breakfast here when we come to the Belfry and we're meeting for breakfast. I was thinking about you this week because like this week I've been full tilt. Like mm. the, it's probably, oh yeah, it, it's been full tilt. Full I don't on. know if it's been the busiest, it's definitely been the busiest week this year. Um, and it's all good stuff, buying companies, selling developments, like very lucrative, good fun stuff. But it's been balls to the wall. Probably like last month we talked about, I wanted to get back on my AAA game, like all guns blazing, get mm. out of, fourth gear into fifth and sixth mm. I'm in like seven and eighth gear now going too fast I wouldn't say that the tyre's about to come off this, the car but the, the tyres are definitely screeching you know we're, we're at that level and I was thinking about you because you're one of the things I admire about you is that you do have a, a very militant structure like you do work very well and I was thinking a rhythm I have a rhythm to and get I work, it all in and I, yeah, yeah exactly and you don't seem to overcook it although I can remember a few months ago you did have a bit of a, a, bit of a wobble when you were having a bit of like approaching burnout sort of thing yeah because it's easily done isn't it it's like yeah. anything yeah. anything you enjoy doing and you eat too much of it and it has a negative impact I was thinking I wonder if I'm sitting here with like ch chunky tasks so 90 minute tasks and I'm working through them high value productively at pace and I was thinking I wonder if Adam works at this pace, or if he's more laissez-faire and you know has a nice coffee, while I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll bash something. No out. man, I'm the same Do as you. you. Yeah, you go I have, at to, it. I have to pull myself away from the desk. Yeah. So like, I'll do the toggle. Do, you ever do nothing. Never. I tried to sit and have a cup of tea and do nothing yesterday. I try and do it, and I am trying to enjoy my life more. Like walking is a good one. Well, I, I will. No, so I say never, but I will. I am aware of when I did my meditation retreat, which is why I went on it, he said, we're human beings, we're not human doings. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was, I saw it on your Facebook, I saw it somewhere. And we, we need to stop doing, so I, I, I say never, no I do, I do practice that, but I think the reality is I am a, uh, I do other stuff. It's finding that balance of not procrastinating, yeah. which makes you feel like shit, and not, compl and not going all guns blazing to, towards you know, burnout, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near burnout at the minute because I'm so if I wasn't this actively fit and healthy yeah. there's no way no way I'd be able to do what I'm doing it's finding that sweet spot in the middle isn't it well yeah and, and yeah for me what works is and you know the rhythm is very important so if, like whether it's a day or a week or a month there's blocks of time where I am not working so for example like in the day I'll pull, I'll pull myself away like having a step target is really good 
because you have to yeah, go yeah. walking so it's a break so walking's I, I, a game changer like I will work I could probably sit and work for six hours straight like you but, I, but what I figure out is that I'm no actually I'm I'm actually less productive eventually but my, my, I do my brain starts to fry whereas if I I can work for 12 hours if every 90 minutes I had a 15 minute break yeah so it's, it's knowing yourself and equally in a week I will balls to the wall till Friday night I will be working like I said 11 hours a day but on Saturday no matter what happens, it's a me day. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'll work on a Saturday, but basically 90% of the time I won't be because I know I'm putting the credits back in the bank account on the Saturday. And then normally I will work on a Sunday and plan my week and prep for the week. A good balance You've for got me to is, have a rhythm. A good balance for me is not working weekends. It's like Friday night off like a switch. Yeah. And then not picking it up till Monday or thinking about it or worrying about it or anything like that. But I was, but at the minute we've got so. I mean, you know how much we've got going on at the minute. There's so much stuff going on. I've been working all guns blazing during the week and then clawing in half day on a Sunday. But I'm going. You know, last four or five weeks I've gone away on a Friday. Or last, last. That's awesome that you're going away. Coming back on a Sunday morning lunchtime and then work Sunday afternoon. I don't think there's anything wrong with working on a Sunday. Like, it feels like I've had a holiday. I'll come back. By the time I get to Sunday lunchtime, I'm like, I need to get back to... Yeah, 24 hours is enough off. Like, I feel like a Friday night and a Saturday off, by sundown, I'm sort of ready to... It's not... I don't necessarily do hardcore work on a Sunday, but I am prepping for the week, organising, getting into I'm just it. clearing the desk. I'm mopping yeah, up Yeah, clearing the, the desk, exactly. I try not to do too much. The bits that haven't, haven't been done. Yeah. Or any personal stuff that I want to get, get done, I'll do that. Yeah. I don't, I've had a few weeks recently where I've not, like, not had a day off. Uh, for like probably two or three weeks work Saturday and Sunday a bit that's not good for you no. without a doubt that is a completely false economy this is what I mean it's like you can work all day you can lock yourself in a room for 12 hours and work but you are going to burn yourself out it's a false economy yeah. you've got to pull yourself away you've got to have regular breaks and see, it's the same at the end of the month now I am booking away like two nights every month or a night off just somewhere else that isn't home that, like you're doing but and things like that I'll sure. book it in a second like you tell me I don't even know how much those things cost you, you tell me the flights and the thing and I'll pay for it because it's like can you see the value things like that I'm like absolute no brainer but if yeah. you were like we're going to fly business class and go for a week I'll be like I'll fly out like my family will go away for a week on holiday I'll say I'll fly out for the weekend you know and, and I'll come home because you know that that works for me yeah the idea of doing I'd, I would be anxious by the end you of the don't week. like doing nothing see I'll, I can go away for a month I'll go away for a month this December well, I think whereas that's you won't go away to... for a week <laughs> I know yeah we're so different well I think I, I need to experience that I, I'm seriously thinking about taking this December off and trying it because you know don't knock it till you tried it I love totally. it, I love entrepreneurship and business like it's a hobby like I would literally do it all day every day if I had the choice to but then I'd have too much that it would be bad for me mm. Um yeah. What? So you don't have a work-life balance either then, is that what you're saying, basically? Well, Because you think, won't even let yourself go away for a week. I think the, the danger... But it's not like I won't let myself because I feel compelled to, or like, you know when you're a young entrepreneur and you have this parental angst that you leave the business and the whole thing's going to collapse? Yeah. I, I, I cannot do. go to the office for two weeks, and I honestly don't have any concerns about the businesses running. It's more the fact that I love being engaged, productive, purposeful... Mm. And it's like this urgency that I'm like, I need, I want to do this stuff. And I get excited about it. Do, yeah. And, so and I want to do it the be. best that it you can be. You need to be. This scorecard, I allocated like 15, 20 hours to do it. It's probably taken me 50 hours to create it. But it is going to be, without a doubt, one of the best products you've ever seen. It will be a game changer for our business. And for the you know for the sales side of things that you're going to be doing with Property Entrepreneur, it's a game changer. I'll tell you a little good... You know, when you're talking about going for a walk, mm. I was listening to what's that book that we've been listening to at the minute? Essentialize. Essen Essentialism. Essentialism. Yeah, by Grant McEwen. There's a, a lot. Normally, I listen to personal development books. And I'm like, I cracked that a few years ago. Or I already know that. There's so much stuff in there that I'm like, I really need to be practicing what he preaches. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a very, very, very powerful book, isn't it? And one of the things is about doing nothing. I've been going for, walking to the office without my headphones in. Do you always have your headphones in? No. Again, about the. Be, like being I take them out because when I've got them in I feel like I'm tuned in and it's just nice to listen to the birds and like get the fresh air and not be plugged into something it actually is yeah, yeah. like it's a game that, that's I a agree. game change I've done this week just breathing in the air and like you know actually you know actually soaking getting... in well that's where meditation comes in that's what they teach you you know just being present so just slowing down and just 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 
looking at the trees, looking at the leaves, noticing the detail, saying hello to people. Have you always people. been like that? Or have you ever gone all guns blazing? Because you, I mean, we've, we've got a big campaign coming up and you've already booked like a week at the end of it. Obviously, me and you are going to be all good. Boom, six rounds. Time's up. We could literally do that for hours. I think we could. That was a lot of fun. Very good. Yeah, very good.